Hello, this is Chris with PlaybookUsers.com, and today I've decided to make a video about some kind of magical charger that I have. Uh, as you can see here, my playbook is uh, charging, and as you can tell, there's uh, nothing connected to it. And if I, I lift it up, run my hands back through there, you can see completely nothing connected to it. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't know why it's like that. I don't know if it's there or what. Um, anyways, I know, not really, fun, really funny, huh? Anyways, I'm not going to be here next week, so uh, I really need to get busy on some uh, videos. Uh, this one is about tap -a talk If you don't know, I mean, if you had an iPhone or some other device, Android phone, you might know what tap -a talk is all, already. They actually uh, they have a BlackBerry version. I think at one time they had it in the App Store, a, uh, a version for the Playbook. Um, but as you can see here, tap -a talk boom, search. No results found. Okay, so I wanted to get that and uh, do a video of this this paid version, but uh, I can't find it there. Well, I do have it on my uh, Droid Razor there. Um, I know for a fact that the paid version, if you try to put it on another Android device, um, it usually gives you uh, a problem. I mean, I could just log into the market and download it to another device. But uh, I think at one time I tried to take it off and just install it as a standalone and it gave me an error because it tries to check the market. Well, you can actually convert it to BlackBerry and have it uh, run. I'm only doing this because this is my, my personal device, my personal playbook, my personal uh, Android phone and everything. And uh, when they come back with an app available on the app world, I'll probably just purchase that one. Because uh, when you're emulating apps, it it's a little bit different uh, function than if it's like a native app built for the BlackBerry playbook. But there we go, tap a talk. Uh, we've side loaded it. Well, let's see here. There we go. That looks better. All right, let's go to Cricket Users, uh, one of my other sites. And as you can see, uh, it loads up uh, pretty well. You can see uh, some articles and stuff, some little posts, uh, all my forum listings. Everything uh, seems to work very well. Let's go into PM box, see if we have any problems getting in there. 293 unread messages. All right, so doesn't seem like there are any problems right there. Basically, I didn't really notice any uh, problems. Uh, I did not test the uh, configuration of the push notifications. Let's see here. Let's go into settings. Tap a dog signature. Notifications. Let's see if we can turn this on. Let's go ahead and receive notifications. Uh, subscribe to topics. Uh, Let's make the check every 30 minutes. That sounds reasonable. Uh, there's no vibrate option, so select a ringtone. Let's make it that dear dear. All right. So notifications have been working uh, in other applications that have been uh, converted. Uh, to the playbook so there shouldn't be a reason that uh, the notifications won't work here and the notification will pop up uh, in the normal playbook notification uh, area up top you can check uh, XDA here see if it loads up right alright that seems to work uh, well too um, I'll post information about this application at playbookusers.com however I'm not going to uh, promote the download uh, of uh, any files uh, for a paid application so you're not going to find a download link there. Uh, you can read our information on how to convert Android applications to the playbook uh, if it's something you need to do until a paid version is available in the app world. So for more information like I said go to our forum at playbookusers.com subscribe to our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash playbook users and subscribe to our YouTube channel.